Hey, sports fans, Larry Eater here. This is Conversations with Larry, special edition. This is the preview of the 2023 USATF Championships. We'll have a preview every day. We'll have a roundup uh, every day as well. Uh, watch for that on Run Blog Run. In terms of TV coverage, for the first time since 2006, nothing on NBC uh, TV. Um, it's about the metrics. That's what Michael Johnson told us yesterday. They didn't think they were making enough money, so they're putting on America's Got Talent. I think that's a responsibility of USA Track and Field, and I hope they get their act together because, yes, it's great to have it on USATF TV, but that's going to cut the audience down by 80%. Uh, having it on Peacock is going to get some numbers, but uh, and it's going to be on CNBC which cuts it down from about 80 million households to 3 million households. It's rather embarrassing that the number two sport in Olympic sports is not going to be on NBC network, but USATF needs to tell us why. I've asked them and they won't respond. Okay, Thursday, July 6th, the heptathlon and the decathlon will begin. The hep will have four events on Thursday. The decathlon will have five, and the hep starts with the 100-meter hurdles at 11.25, the 100 meters for men starts at 11.45. I think on the heptathlon, uh, you have Talia Brooks, you have Anna Hall. It's going to be really exciting to see this competition. I love the multi-events. I love the history of the multi-events, and you should too. Um, the first non-multi-event will be at 2.52. It is senior men first round questions bryce hopple clayton murphy will sumner isaiah harris there's about six legitimate athletes and surprises fighting for three places kids what's going to happen there the women's race 318 that's the first round of the women's 800 i think moo showed us that she was fit just a couple weeks ago uh june 24th when she ran her 158 72 in lovely new york Ajay Wilson had a rather uh, a setback, which kind of scared everybody. Um, and let's see what Aliyah or uh, Ajay comes this week as well. So that women's 800 is going to be quite telling. The discus throw for men's finals at 3.30 on uh, Thursday. And then we begin with the 100-meter round, first round at 4.04. That should fill the stadium. And uh, Shikari Richardson, Aliyah Hobbs. It's going to be really interesting who's going to be out there and who's going to be doing what. It's going to be terribly tough to make the 100 and the 200 team this year. The men's 100 starts at 4.30. So Noah Lyles, Christian Coleman. Fred Curley has a buy. Who else is going to show up? It's going to be really interesting to see who's out there. There's always surprises in this first round of the 100 meters. And Eugene tends to be very, very fast. Uh, the senior women's 400 is at 456. Uh, we're expecting Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone to compete there and not in the 400 hurdles as she has a buy. So that's going to be interesting as well and see who's going to be competing with her. Is it Britton Wilson? We will have to see. And then we've got coming up the men's 400, which is going to be really tough, I think, to make the team this year. I'm expecting Fred Curley to be in that. Vernon Norwood, there are going to be some big surprises in the men's 400 this year. It will take 44-5 to make the team. So that could be very, very interesting. The triple jump final is at 6 p.m. We have great talent in the triple jump and the women's triple jump. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if these athletes are ready to go. The 3,000-meter steeplechase senior women first round at 6.04. I think there's a lot of questions that need to be answered there. Who is really fit? Who is ready to go? Is it going to be the collegians? Emma Coburn? How, what kind of shape is Emma in? I think Emma's in pretty darn good shape, but we'll have to see and see what kind of surprises there are out there too. And so the women's three is at 6.04. The men, the women's javelin throw at 6.30. And then at 6.35, the senior men's steeplechase. Evan Jager, is he going to be there? Hillary Bohr, 
We'll have to see. I think Hillary Bohr actually broke a bone earlier this year. But was it? Yeah, it was earlier this year. So uh, I don't think we're going to be able to see him, which is most unfortunate. The senior men's 1500 first round, it's 705. That is going to be tough to get through. This followed by the senior women's 1500 at 726 first round. And I look at both of those and I'm kind of wondering, okay, there's athletes who can compete in the 1500 and the 5000. Are they going to do both? What are they going to do? Who who are going to be the surprises? And that'll be fun to see in that first round. And then we have the finals of the senior women's 10 uh, at 745 and the senior men's 10. In the senior women's uh, 10, Alicia Monson, obviously. Are we going to see Caitlin Tui in the 10,000? That I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see who is battling with Alicia Monson. I don't believe Emma Sisson is going to be competing, but we will have to look at the entry list and see. The men's 10,000 is going to be crazy. Joe Klecker, uh, Woody Kincaid, Grant Fisher, and who else? Who will be the surprises there? There's always a surprise in the 25 lapper, but it's going to be a fantastic first day of track and field at the U.S. Championships. U.S. Championships are July 6th through 9th, Eugene, Oregon, and Hayward Field. Run, Blog, Run will be there. I hope you're there, too. This is Larry Eater for Run, Blog, Run, signing off.